Hey everybody, I'm Neil McNeil, your Mondays here on That's Gay. Each week we're going to be introducing a different theme or topic to be discussed in all of our videos, and this week is Coming Out Week. Even though we've probably all talked about our coming out stories at some point or another on our own personal channels, we decided that we wanted to share our coming out stories with you all, just to give you a taste of who we are. Now, I've been out of the closet for almost 10 years now. I came out when I was 14 years old, and honestly, I have never once regretted coming out so early. But I grew up in a very accepting and nurturing environment, so I was well aware from the time that I was about 10 years old that if I came out of the closet, my parents would still accept me. I actually remember having a conversation with my mom back a few years before I came out because I had just learned what the word lesbian meant, and I thought that one of my older sisters was that. So I came up to her while she was watching TV one day, sat in her lap and said, Mom, do you think my sister's a lesbian? And to my surprise, my mom turned to me and said, well, it doesn't matter if she is because she's my daughter and I'm going to love her no matter what. And I actually took that memory and shelved it because it was in that moment that I realized that my parents were going to love me and accept me no matter what. So at the age of 14, I was dating this girl named Christy and our relationship was pretty much, we went over to each other's houses and played video games and made out a little bit, but I wasn't getting anything uh, sexually fulfilling from it. And I think at that point I had realized that I might be more attracted to guys than girls. And I think the first person who I confided these thoughts in was my friend Julian, who back then went by Julia, and I approached him and said, hey, I think I might be gay. And we had a really lengthy conversation about when he knew that he was transgendered, and it really helped me see things in a different light. Having people like that in your life really helps not only allies, but members of the LGBT community. It's great to have a support system of people who have both been through it and will be there for you no matter what you decide to do. After I talked with Julian about it, I started opening up to more of my friends, and after Christy and I broke up, she was also one of the first people that I told, and she was completely accepting. Over the next few months, I started coming out to more of my friends, but I still hadn't come out to my family at that point. It was something that actually just, it still scared me even though I knew that they were going to accept me. It was just, I feel like telling them would have made it real. Unfortunately, I had downloaded some gay porn on the computer and my sisters found it and they deleted it before my parents could, but they came up to me and said, hey, we know that you're gay. Now, my sisters had always joked with me that I was gay growing up. I was a little bit more effeminate than most of the other boys in my class and they, they knew that and they teased me for it, but I think once they started to see that I was coming into my own and was, you know, going on that path, they really laid off because they realized that it was actually going to hurt me more than it was going to help me come out. So when I was able to tell them, I realized that telling my parents, it wouldn't be a big deal. I sat my mom down before dinner one night and told her and she, she was a little shocked, I would say, because I was just so young at the time still. But ultimately, she reiterated that no matter what, she loved me. She told my father, my father told me he loved me too, and it was it was a very easy coming out process for me. So whether it's you coming out at a young age or you coming out later in life, what matters is that you come out when you feel most comfortable. Now, I know that not a lot of people have that luxury in life, and you shouldn't come out before you feel comfortable. Coming out is such a personal process. You can only do it when you feel most comfortable. I know that some people in this world are forced to come out before they are ready, but but you really have to take it and, and just go with it when you feel ready. The fact that our world is moving in a direction that people are not only able to come out at such a young age and be accepted for it, but also they become role models for other people too. People who are younger than them are seeing this and saying that it's okay if I'm a little bit different, it helps. So for those of you struggling with coming out, I have three helpful tips for you all. Number one, do it when you're ready. And I don't just mean ready to come out, but when you're ready and recognize that you are in an environment that is both safe and nurturing for you to come out of the closet. Don't come out because you feel obligated to, come out because you want to and you're ready for it. Number two, surround yourself with people who not only identify as LGBT, but also allies of the community. These people are going to be such a helpful asset for you because they have seen what others have gone through and will help you through the process. And number three, if people aren't ready to accept you for who you are, you don't have to accept them in your life either. Take a stand and tell those people, if you can't accept the fact that this is who I am, I can't accept you for the bigot that you are. Like I said, my coming out story isn't all that crazy or special, but leave a comment below and tell me about your experience. That's all I've got for Monday's video. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another coming out story. Until next time, I'll catch you later, nerds.